Good afternoon and welcome to this, my weekly masterclass, where today we're going to be talking about how you can stop feast and famine in your business. Uh, this is such an important subject and I wish that I had got this sorted really early on in my business because um, it gives you absolute palpitations and sleepless nights when you haven't got a consistent flow of clients and money coming into your business and at any point when you are facing periods of time when there's a little bit of a drought going on and you have no idea where the next clients or um, money is actually going to come from um, it, and by using what I'm going to share today uh, which is really super simple because I totally believe in keeping everything simple uh, you will eradicate feast and famine in your business forever and that's exactly what you want to do now thankfully I did learn this lesson really early on and I've had various different versions of what I'm going to talk about um, in my business so it does really really work and you know when everybody on um, social media is talking about having a freedom business this is exactly what people are talking about they're talking about having a consistent flow of uh, clients money coming into your business they're talking about having an amount of money that's always coming into your business and they're also talking about uh, on the flip side of things is they're also talking about having um strategies in place where you can grow your audience as well but that's a whole different conversation um, which i will be sharing with you as we go through these weekly master classes so let's talk about today's subject feast and famine what what am I talking about here? And what I am talking about here is um, that like roller coaster ride your business can often give you. So the feast is, you know, you've maybe secured a contract or some new clients and you have this abundance of clients and money and it's fabulous and you're focusing on working with those gorgeous people and you're doing your best work and that is amazing um, and maybe in the back of your head you're thinking oh, this is great but I haven't got the capacity right now to go out there and promote something else and where are the my next clients coming from so that can be a distraction when you're actually doing some really deep work with your paying clients and then famine is when you actually have very little or no income coming into your business and you that is the point when you start to freak out about how you're going to make this business work, what you can do, and um, that is not a nice place to be. And I often talk about it being a roller coaster ride because certainly in the early days when I had this happening in my business, you know, the, the feast is, where's the camera? The feast is obviously the peak and it's growing and it's great and it's all amazing, and the famine is like that drop. And what we're going to be talking about today is how you can actually move away from that. Um, and if you've got any questions about this masterclass, even if you're listening back on the replay, you know, you can pop them into uh, the comments box below and actually ask me. And I do always come back and respond to people's queries as well. So that's what Feast of Famine is. And you might recognize that you've got this happening in your business. The impact is, is that the times when you've got that feast, when you're busy, busy, busy working with your clients, is that you, if you, unless you've put some strategies in place, and again, as I said, that's a whole different conversation, but unless you've put a strategy in place where you are um, growing your audience on a regular basis, feast is the time when the, the capacity, your capacity as a, as a solopreneur is you are working with your clients, you have got clients, you are working with them and that's amazing. But when you're in the famine mode, this is absolutely detrimental to your growth. Um, hi Jenny, lovely to see you here. Um, when you're in the famine mode, you are definitely in um, a point of lack, you're, you're struggling, you're worrying, and you're likely to be waking up as I said, in the middle of the night, worrying about where your next clients are coming from. So not only does it have a detrimental effect with your business, it has a detrimental effect on your belief, on your confidence. And if this feast and famine situation remains in your business for a long period of time, you know, you can actually start to ever wear at your belief that you can grow the business of your dreams. Um, 
also fees and famine happens when there are maybe times you know as Jenny said here that she's got pearly children so if you're like Jenny and I a busy working parent there are times when you do need to step out of your business that might be to you know to, to manage childcare it could be because you're on holiday and as we know you know our children have lots of lovely long holidays so there are there are points as well when you actually need to take a break from your business and i've tried all sorts of different things especially over the long summer months i've tried um putting the children in childcare and working i've tried automating everything and uh, taking the whole summer off i've closed the business down and started again in september and none of those things really worked particularly well. And uh, if you do close your business down over the summer months and then go to restart it in the autumn, that just feels like restarting a, a whole business. And nobody wants to do that. Um, oh, so yeah, Jenny, I, I feel for you, honestly. I've, uh, I've only just got to my desk because I've had appointments this morning, not for me, but for my uh, for my eldest today so yeah it, it is a constant juggle so this this strategy that we're talking about is absolutely perfect for you if you are a working parent if you do want to take some time out of your business if you really do want to introduce some freedom and flexibility into your life and more importantly if you do want a consistent flow of clients and um, money coming into your business so you can like leverage your business and you can step away from worry and fear um, so you know that is the scenario that is what many of us are facing and sometimes it's really easy to say well if you've got an offline business so a business that isn't delivered um online it's impossible to actually put something in place that will stop feast and famine and i've worked with both offline and online business owners and we have put this in into action really simply um and sometimes in lots of cases it's just a case of making a few tweaks so that this the strategy to help you stop uh, feast and famine in your business forever is to put something in place um, that I like to call your middle lane so this is looking at your business this is um, having a business strategy where you have got um, like a flow a kind of pathway that your clients can take so you know they come in um, at one price point and they you know get to like know and trust you and then they're ready to work with you at a higher price point and the really simple way that I use to break that down and to help my clients put in place um, a business model that really helps them to leverage their business and to bring freedom into their business is what I call the slow the middle and the fast lane so you know we all drive on motorways we can easily visualize that and the way that you um, eradicate fees and famine in your business forever is that you create products and services that sit in the middle lane. And the middle lane is um, like your genius spot. This is where you get to work with uh, one to many. So if you currently have a business that is where you are working one to one, this is your opportunity to create a, a really gorgeous um, product or service that you deliver one to many. And it can be it can be all sorts of different things. You can let your creative mind like just run riot. And if you want, want any ideas about what that might be for your business, just pop it in the comments and uh, you know, let's have a brainstorm about it. But basically your middle lane is your your signature um, offering and this is relevant to both offline and online services so it's the thing that you want to be known for so, so my thing my middle lane is the 5k club i am the founder of the 5k club for female entrepreneurs who are ready to take their business to five to generating 5k a month consistently in their business so my thing you know what i put in all my bios and the thing that I lead with is that, you know, I am the founder of the 5K Club. It's in all my social media. It's, you know, it's wherever I am. And that, that's how I introduce myself and podcasts and interviews and all, all the rest of it. And um, this is how bringing this into your business is how you stop fees and famine from happening. Because you're working one to many and the way that you structure it is that you have... Uh, payments coming to you every single month so let me give you some ideas about it but obviously this masterclass that we're having right here right now is quite a uh, succinct 
kind of masterclass and I have got this in a, a bigger kind of detail and I, within it I've got some examples. So I've got an instant access masterclass which is all about how you can put in a business model just like this and in particular how you can bring it in like that middle lane, how you can eradicate fe feast and famine in your business and I give examples of how you can do this with both an offline and an online business. So after this live, I'll put the link there and you can download it and watch for yourself. It's 30 minutes. 30 minutes where you get to work on your business. You just need a pen and a piece of paper, you need to uh, just sign up for it, receive it, watch it, work it out and um, and, and put this into practice. And it's not difficult. Um, it, it, sometimes it can feel difficult, but honestly, once you start looking at this, it's amazing. So just to give you some ideas about what that middle lane offer might be, what it is that you could bring into your business to stop feast and famine from happening, where you could get a monthly amount of money coming from your business. So if you have an offline business, so this is a business that, um, you know, perhaps you're a PT instructor or a yoga um, instructor, or perhaps you're a consultant, um, one of the things that you can put in place is you can um, put in place a monthly retainer where your client, so if you're a consultant, where your client receives a level of um, support from you every month and they pay a monthly fee for that. So I do that with, for my web services. I pay a monthly amount every single month for years. And I know that my um, website is looked after, it's supported, and anything that needs to happen to that website in terms of updates and so on gets done. So I pay my web manager to do that. So that's like a really brilliant example of how you can bring this into your business. So this is about, you know, listening to these ideas and thinking about how you can turn this into something you can use in your business. So return is one of those things. Um, a, a payment plan. So when I was working this through uh, with a yoga teacher at, at a live event, she was like, you cannot get me to 5k a month. I'm one person. I've got so many hours in the week that I can run classes. You can't do it. And it was like, I did it. I mapped out how she could generate more than 5k a month in her business. And one of the things that you can do is, you know, obviously if you're delivering classes, is that that is your one to many. That is your that is your middle lane. That is your feast and famine. But you could also put things in there for um, on payment plans. So if you've got like a retreat or a special uh, one off event that's at a higher price point than your clients uh, used to pay, you can put a payment plan in there. So you have this monthly amount that uh, somebody's paying you, and it comes in every month for a period of time, um, and then. With an online business, a business where you're delivering, um, you know, the majority or all of your content online, there is so much you can do. You can equally have a retainer. You might be a coach. You might be a consultant who works online. And you could um, have a retainer where somebody pays you an amount of money and they know that they can download your support and help um, throughout the month. You could run a mastermind um, or a membership club or, or you could have a subscription service. So there's all, and there's loads, they're just like four that I rattled off when I was putting my notes together for this masterclass. So there's lots of things that you can put in place. Now, sometimes people kind of held back from doing this thing. I mean, this is not rocket science, you've heard this stuff before. But sometimes the reasons why people don't put this in place is because they believe that everything's got to be perfect, that they've got to have like a perfect website or, or a perfect membership site or something like that. And I can uh, share a couple of things. So um, I've got a beautiful client who ha who is super, super successful and she has a membership club, but she has currently no website and she's grown her business without having a website. So we don't need all these things in place. We just need to understand what that middle lane is and uh, go out there and create something what you know that our clients actually want and that they value and they will happily pay you an amount of money and then you need to go out there and promote it and sell it and certainly back in the day when I first had my very first membership club which I did for two years until my niche changed um, I used to send my content out I didn't have a membership site I just sent it out via email that was it so the members had to keep all their emails um, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So 
you are pro you maybe um, have experienced membership sites that are beautiful. I mean, that's something to work towards, isn't it? But if you, one of the reasons why you're putting this off is because you haven't quite got there with your tech, or you need more money to invest in a membership site. What I'm saying to you is that whilst your business is um, struggling with feast and famine, it's going to have a detrimental effect on like your results, but also on yourself. So bringing this in, bringing in um, a strategy, bringing your middle lane product earlier will help you with both of those things. It will see you increase your results and it will increase your confidence and your self-belief in what you can do. So there you go. So certainly, you know, I brought this into my business um, very early on, but I did have a period of time when I had feast and famine coming on happening in my business, and I understand that it's not very nice to do that at all. So if you've got any questions about that, please let me know. Um, and if you've got any questions and you're watching the replay, post them below. Um, I do answer every single question. And as I said, that I do have a really fabulous 30-minute mastermind. A masterclass where I go into this um, in way more detail and I also give you the space and the tools to actually figure out what this looks like for your business and when you work through that masterclass you will be able to identify all, what all of your products and services are so no more sitting there and thinking oh what what is it that I'm promoting this time um, and you'll be able to see what your prices are but not only that you will be able to identify what your customer journey is going to be through from you know finding out about you through to actually um, coming and working with you at a much higher end as well so I will put that link in the comments below and yet yeah, please download it and start to put this strategy in place in your business because it's going to, it'll, it works and it's going to really help you to leverage your business and your results and your um, self-belief as well. Okay, I'll be back next Wednesday at 12 o'clock with um, next week's Masterclass. Bye for now.